Believe it or not, this is 50 feet of 10 pound test on this tiny little spool that I made from that PVC pipe. An improved clinch knot, I believe the term is. And then for properly rigging up a cane pole, you want as much line, oops, as much line as your pole is long. All right, I am not catching a single fish until you guys hit the thumbs up. So I'll wait until that happens. This is how I spent the bulk of my childhood. Walking through creeks like this with no shoes on, cane pole in hand, catching little fish out of streams like this. This is what I did. I spent a lot of time doing this as a kid. So if we wanted to eat this little guy, we could cut the guts out of him a little bit. Clean him up, throw him in the pot. But we're not going to. See if we can catch a little bigger one. There we go. Now they're hitting. I've eaten these fish before. Little horny heads. And they taste kind of like mud. Pretty unpleasant to eat, but in a survival situation definitely an eater. Could always use him for bait too. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah. Woo! We got a whopper now. That's a good size one. Look at that. Look at that trophy. Yeah, that's some good stuff there. Yeah, I mean, I've caught three in the past two minutes maybe. This is definitely the biggest one, but yeah, you could have yourself a meal in a really, really short period of time. And that's why I always carry a small little fishing kit 
like the one that I've got in my pocket right now. It takes up no space, you don't even know it's there, but you could, you could catch a meal if you're near any kind of water pretty easily. One of the tricks to keeping your worm on your hook longer, some of you this is old news, you know what I'm talking about, but if you thread the worm onto the hook, you run the hook the length of the worm, it'll stay on there much better than if you just kind of stab it through. So thread the worm onto your hook and even on up past the eye and onto the line a little bit and the worm will stay on there much longer and you can catch multiple fish on the single bait. And then after I'm done fishing, I can just disconnect, cut the line off the end of this pole, wrap it back around the spool on my little fishing kit, put the hook back, or I can even leave the hook attached to the, to the line so it's just ready to go next time, chuck the pole, move on, and if I want to fish again, I just cut a new pole. It's no big deal. Well, anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.